So our Advent reading today is 1 Peter 3 verses 15 to 16. But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behaviour in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. I have a question for you, said one of our neighbours neighbors a number of years back as we sat round the dining room table. You must tell me about the hope that I've noticed you had this kind of optimism. I can't quite define it. I was very used to being asked about my faith in schools, sometimes grilled from it and in youth groups also. But for some reason I was completely thrown. I'd expected him to ask something pretty mundane. Uh, or perhaps controversial, he loved a good controversy. But I hadn't thought that he had ever noticed that we had a faith, or that it had ever meant anything to him. I'm embarrassed to say that I stumbled through an answer uh, that can't really have helped him or any of the other neighbours that were sat round the table at the time. I missed my opportunity to tell them really what the hope of Christ meant to me. And Peter says we should always be prepared for such moments as these. But I guess that preparation takes time. And since that moment with my neighbour, I've thought lots about the conversation over the years and how I might have responded better. I hope that reflection has helped me to be better prepared if other people ask me that in the future. I wonder, how might you answer that question? Why do you have a hope in Christ Jesus? What is it that makes you hopeful? Now, I wonder if this week you might reflect a little bit on that so that uh, at the end of that reflection, like Peter encourages us to be, we are prepared to give an answer for the hope that we have in Christ Jesus.